Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at how to use reference angles to evaluate trig functions. So we have find the exact function value of and we have three questions here. Now to solve these problems the key is to stay organized so if you want to have steps to follow here are a few simple steps to follow to answer these three questions. So the first thing we could do to answer uh, to find the value of sine of 210 degrees is draw this out. So we should note that 210 degrees starts from standard position and goes into quadrant 3. Next thing we want to follow is note that all of the trig functions are positive in quadrant 1, sine is positive in quadrant 2, tangent is positive in quadrant 3, and cosine is positive in quadrant 4. The lettering ASTC, some students will say uh, all students take calculus. I've heard some really goofy ones like all students take crack. Uh, there are some funny ones out there, whichever one will help you remember it. That's the one you should use to remember. So if we look here, 210 degrees is in quadrant 3, which tells us tangent is positive in quadrant 3. So we know this question right away. Sine of 210 degrees, our answer is going to be negative. The next thing we should find, though, is what is our reference angle? Well, if we go 180 degrees, we have another... 30 degrees to go to go into quadrant 3 here. So our reference angle, remember by definition, is the positive acute angle between the x-axis and the terminal side of the angle. This is the most important step to answering all three of these questions, that you identify the reference angle. So in this case, our reference angle is 30 degrees. But the way we use it, once we identify the reference angle, we could rewrite the original function in terms of its reference angle. So remember, in quadrant 3, we said sine is negative, so we put a negative in front of the sine function, and we're going to replace 210 now with the reference angle of 30 degrees. So now to follow, uh, or sorry, to simplify this, you just need to know the trig values of 30, 60, uh, 45 degrees for these particular problems, and sine of 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. So this works out to negative 1 over 2. So for the second example here, once again, we're going to draw this out. So negative 30 degrees, remember, angles typically go counterclockwise. So if we go negative 30, we have to go clockwise as opposed to this direction here. So we're going to go 30 degrees this way into going into quadrant 4. And if we note ASTC, we could say here that our answer is going to be positive because cosine is positive in quadrant 4. So we could identify our reference angle and in this case our reference angle is given to us. Um, we have the acute angle here of 30 degrees so our reference angle is equal to 30 degrees. So this allows us to rewrite this function cosine of negative 30 degrees equals cosine of positive 30 degrees which, once again, using a 30, 60, 90 triangle, this will tell you cosine of 30 is equal to radical 3 over 2. Okay, and the last problem here, tangent of 315 degrees, we're going to draw this out. 315 degrees will terminate in quadrant 4, so starting from standard position, we draw this. It's going to terminate in quadrant 4. And since only cosine is positive in quadrant 4, we know our answer to the third question will be negative. So to work this out, we identify if this whole angle is 315 degrees, the positive acute angle here between the terminal side and the x-axis is 45 degrees. And this is our reference angle here. So we could write it out. We have a reference angle of 45 degrees. So remember, this is a crucial step. We write the original function, tangent of 315 degrees. We know since we're in quadrant 4, our answer has to be negative. But now we replace our angle from standard position with our reference angle of 45 degrees. Okay, and then for, to evaluate this, using the uh, special right triangles, you would use a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And using that triangle, it would tell you tangent at 45 degrees is equal to 1. So we could simplify this as negative 1. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on using reference angles to simplify trig functions. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.